Hare Krishna Chaitanya Purnityananda Shri Adaita Dada Dara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Purnityananda Shri Adaita Gada Dara Shri Vasadi Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Krishna, 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare 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 Rama Vishnupad Paraman Suparipad Jatacharja Ashto Tulisitsi Shiman AC Bhakti Vedanta Shami Raj Prabhupada Kijai Anantakoti Vaishnapindaki Jai 
Nam Acharya Sri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sakaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gaur Kokinath Shama Kuna Radha Kuna Giri Gaur Tham Ki Jai Vrindavan Tham Ki Jai Navadip Tham Ki Jai Jagannath Puri ki jai, Ganga Mai ki jai, Jamana Mai ki jai, Tulsi Devi ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda ki jai. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Gaur Premanande Hari 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 Bo, thank you so much, Maharaj. And thank you for joining us, everyone, on Friday, December 16th, 2022, in New York, a day later in Vrindavan, for Srimad Bhagavatam class with His Holiness Jayadvaita Swami. We are reading in the third canto tonight, chapter 11, starting with verse number 34. Uh, Maitreya Muni is telling Vidura about the lifetimes of Lord Brahma. And we're eager to hear everyone's comments and questions. And I was wondering perhaps if Haridas Prabhu might like to lead tonight's closing kirtan. That would be very nice if you might consider that. And we're so happy that you could be with us, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Kendra Prabhu. And thank you to Haridas and to Meena and to all the devotees. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Yadartham Ayushastasya Prarartham Abhidhiyate Purva Parartho Pakranto Yaparodhya Pravartate the 100 years of Brahma's life are divided into two parts, the first half and the second half. The first half of the duration of Brahma's life is already over. The second half is now current. Purport. The duration of 100 years in the life of Brahma has already been discussed in many places in this work, and it is described in Bhagavad Gita 8.17 also. Fifty years of the life of Brahma are already over, and fifty years are yet to be completed. Then, for Brahma also, death is inevitable. Purvasya dao prarthasya brahmo nama mahanaput kalpo yatra bhavad brahma shabda brahme tiyam viduhu. In the beginning of the first half of Brahma's life, there was a millennium called Brahma Kalpa, wherein Lord Brahma appeared. The birth of the Vedas was simultaneous with Brahma's birth. Purport. According to Padma Purana, Prabhas Khanda, in 30 days of Brahma, many kalpas take place, such as the Varaha kalpa and Pitra kalpa. 30 days make one month of Brahma, beginning from the full moon to the disappearance of the moon. Twelve such months complete one year, and fifty years complete one parardha, or one half of the duration of the life of Brahma. The Sveta Varaha period the birth date of Brahma is in the month of March, according to Hindu astronomical calculation. 
This statement is reproduced from the explanation of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshun Militam Jaina Tasmai Sri Uddhave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Pistam Stapitam Jaina Putale Shayam Rupakada Maiham Vadhati Shapadam Tikam One day hung Sri Udo Sri Jatapadakamanan Sri Guru Vaishnavamscha Sri Rupam Shagrajatam Shahagana Raganatan Vitam Stam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savatutam Parishana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Shahagana Lodita Sri Vishakan Vitamsha E Krishna Puru Tina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tata Kamsana Gorangi Radhe Brindavane Shri Prisha Panu Sute Devi Ranamami Hodi Priye Bansha called the Rupyascha, Kripa Sinto Pyevacha, Padita Nam Pavanebio, Vaishnavebio, Namo Namaha, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Adraita Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi, Gold of the Rinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Dama, Hare Dama, Dama Dama, Hare Hare. We're hearing about Brahma's time. Uh, his life consists of two parts. The first part is gone. We're starting the second half of Brahma's life. The Svetavaraha appearance of the Lord is the first birthday of Brahma. <clears throat> as far as I understand, this first birthday means day one. Uh, in, in American Europe, we're accustomed to your first birthday is when you're one year old. But in India, your first birthday is the day you're born. And so uh, on your first birthday, by the Western, Western calculation, your uh, hmm, that's when you're two. <laughs> What's your second birthday, rather? You're one year old and it's your second birthday. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, just wanted to clarify that. Any questions or comments? Sarshati has something. Let's see. Brahma was born for, as a full-grown adult. Similarly, are all residents of Brahmaloka and other higher planets born as adults? Uh, I don't know. I assume so, but I have no specific information in that regard. Um, let me just change one thing here. It's just gone mad. Okay. The Kumaras, though, were born as children, their children, and they stay children. Special case. The Svetavaraha appearance of the Lord. Um, okay, so that's. Hold on. How did I move there? It's interesting. Okay, there we go. Also. We are told that every living entity lives for 100 years of time uh, in their specific planet. So how to understand when in such yuga it is said people lived 100,000 years, Treta yuga 10,000, 1,000, 100. Well, for what I understand, this 100 years is calculated not only according to the planet 
but according to the living entity himself, the embodiment that he has, so that the the hundred years of the, the moth and the hundred years of the human being are not the same. And it may also be according to the the yuga, so that uh, you get a hundred years of life, but the, that hundred years differs according to the yuga. That's a speculation. Um, I don't know. Anything more to add here? Okay. Tasyaya vachante kopo bhud yam padmam abhichakshate yadhader nabhi sarasa asiloka suroruham. The millennium which followed the first Brahma millennium is known as the Padma Kopa because in that millennium the universal lotus flower grew out of the navel reservoir of water of the personality of Godhead, Hori. Purport the millennium following the Brahma Kalpa is known as the Padma Kalpa because the universal lotus grows in, uh, in that millennium. The Padma Kalpa is also called the Pitri Kalpa in certain Puranas. The we understand that the discussion of Brahma's uh, birth on the lotus and his uh, traveling down in the water to to find the source of his birth and so on, all that takes place in the Padma Kopa. And there are new messages. Let's see what they are. Okay, Mina Davies says that Einstein and his theory of relativity of time is not so far, far off, um, question mark, uh, I assume. Uh, at least this idea of relativity is, is there in Srimad Bhagavatam. I can't say much about Einstein and his theory. Uh, Doug isn't here to help us out today. Um, but there appears to be a, a similarity. Anything else? Okay. Ayam tu katita kalpo tutiyasya piparata varaha iti vikyato yatrasi chukaro harihi. <coughs> O descendant of Parat, the first millennium in the second half of the life of Brahma is also known as the Varaha millennium because the personality of Godhead appeared in that millennium as the hog incarnation. We'll hear about that incarnation later in Srimad Bhagavatam, how Krishna appears as Varaha. And that takes place during the second half of Brahma's life in the first millennium. Purport, the different millenniums known as the Brahma, Padma, and Varaha Kalpas appear a little puzzling for the layman. There are some scholars who think that these Kalpas, who think these Kalpas to be one and the same. According to Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti, the Brahma Kalpa in the beginning of the first half appears to be the Padma, Kalpa, the Padma Kalpa. We can, however, simply abide by the text and understand that the present millennium is in the second half of the duration of the life of Brahma. It's easy to get uh, sort of spin out and get lost amidst all of these uh, kalpas. 
the which one is which, what happens in which one, uh, are these kalpas, which kalpas are, are simply the same kalpa under different names. It gets, it can get quite confusing. Uh, those who read the purport by um, Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur can get a sample of how complicated uh, our attempts to understand these things can get, or rather the, what complications uh, our attempts to understand can lead us into. Um, but Prabhupada summarizes it by saying, yeah, it can be a little puzzling, but um, here we are at the beginning of the second, uh, of the second half of Brahma's life. That's where we are. Anything else? Kalo yam dvi prarthakyo nimesha upacharyate avyakritasya nantasya janandir janadir jagadatmanaha. The duration of the two parts of Brahma's life, as above mentioned, is calculated to be equal to one nimesha, less than a second for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is unchanging and unlimited, and is the cause of all causes of the universe. Purport. The great sage Maitreya has given a considerable description of the time of different dimensions, beginning from the atom up to the duration of the life of Brahma. Now he attempts to give some idea of the time of the unlimited personality of Godhead. He just gives a hint of his unlimited time by the standard of the life of Brahma. The entire duration of the life of Brahma is calculated to be less than a second of the Lord's time. And it's explained in the Brahma Sangita as follows. Yasyaika nishpasita kalamata valambya, jivanti loma vilaja jagaranda nata, vishnur mahansi hayasya kala vishesho, govinda madi purusham, tamahang pajami. I worship Govinda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the cause of all causes whose plenary portion is Mahavishnu. All the heads of the innumerable universes, the Brahmas, live only by taking shelter of the time occupied by one of his breaths. The impersonalists do not believe in the form of the Lord, and thus they would hardly believe in the Lord's sleeping. Their idea is obtained by a poor fund of knowledge. They calculate everything in terms of man's capacity. They think that the existence of the Supreme is just the opposite of active human existence. Because the human being has senses, the Supreme must be without sense perception. Because the human being has a form, the Supreme Truth must be formless. And because the burden, uh, because the human being sleeps, the Supreme must not sleep. Srimad Bhagavatam, however, does not agree with such impersonalists. It is clearly stated herein that the Supreme Lord rests in Yoga Nidra, as previously discussed. And because he sleeps, Naturally, he must breathe, and the Brahma Sangita confirms that within his breathing period, innumerable Brahmas 
take birth and die. There is complete agreement between Srimad Bhagavatam and the Brahma Sanghita. Eternal time is never lost along with the life of Brahma. It continues, but it has no ability to control the Supreme Personality of Godhead because the Lord is the controller of time. In the spiritual world, there's undoubtedly time, but it has no control over activities. Time is unlimited and the spiritual world is also unlimited since everything there exists on the absolute plane. So uh, Maitreya Muni has now described time from the smallest unit of measurable time, uh, the uh, time it takes for the sun to pass over a, an atom, Paramanam, up to the greatest time, the time uh, of the entire life of Lord Brahma, four million three hundred thousand times a thousand times two times twelve times thirty times one hundred of our years. And now he also compares uh, the Brahma's calculated time to the time of Lord Vishnu, which in fact can't be calculated. Um, his time is unlimited. Uh, it's not measurable the way that atomic time is or Brahma's time is. The Lord's time is unlimited. Uh, but uh, just to give an idea, here it's said that uh, the entire lifetime of Brahma is a moment for for Vishnu. But, uh, Vishnu's existence, uh, the existence of the spiritual world is beyond uh, measurement. All right, any comments or questions here? Yes, Akendra Prabhu. Thank you so much, Maharaj. I was thinking how he's giving an idea of the of the unlimited time of the Supreme Lord by by giving this vast and detailed account of the the lifetime of Brahma. I was thinking how interesting it is that Nimesha is what it's like a, a blink of an eye. Is the, is the whole life of Lord Brahma. And yet Krishna comes and performs pastimes within many, many, many times within the material universes in for what for him is less than a blink of an eye, even if he's you know, performing pastimes in every millennium. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a little inconceivable, just as it's inconceivable that he enters into the atom and he's also Mahavishnu and the universes are coming out of his body and he's within each atom and he's performing his pastimes and in, in for what for us is, you know, at least in Krishna's time span, 125 years, it, it's, it's just too much to, to contemplate. It's interesting, as you say, that Krishna's entering into our time. Yeah. His time is unlimited, and yet he enters into uh, earth time, our time. I, I was thinking, you know, by, by uh, comparison, you could imagine what it would be like for us to enter into the lifetime of an ant and experience the, the ant's time as a hundred years. It's, it's not really conceivable. We can't do that. Um, but somehow if we could, you know, what would that be like? So here's Krishna with his unlimited time, with his one Nimesha equaling the time, lifetime of Brahma. And somehow he enters into uh, our time. Uh, he enters into our time. So uh, it's wonderful. 
And at the same time, he's unaffected by time. He enters into it, but it doesn't affect him. Now, we come under the, the control of time. Uh, he doesn't. Thank I, I you. Was, I was also thinking how there, there are theists who the most they can often say about God is that God is great. But here's here's an example of how great he is. Are you ready for it? Mm. <laughs> yes, thank you. Anything else? Okay. Kalo yam paraman vadir dri parardhanta ishwaraha naive shitum prapur pumna ishwaro tamamaninam. Eternal time is certainly the controller of different dimensions, from that of the atom up to the superdivisions of the duration of Brahma's life. But, nevertheless, it is controlled by the supreme time, not controlled by the supreme. Time can control only those who are body conscious, even up to the Satyaloka or the other higher planets of the universe. Anything here? Vikarai sahito yuktair visheshadi pir avritaha andakosho bahirayam panchashat kotivistritaha. The phenomenal material world is expanded to a diameter of four billion miles as a combination of eight material elements transformed into 16, uh, into 16 further categories within and without as follows. Purport, as explained before, the entire material world is a display of 16 diversities and eight material elements. The analytical studies of the material world are the subject matter of Sankhya philosophy. The first 16 diversities are the 11 senses and five sense objects, and the eight elements are the gross and subtle matter, namely earth, water, fire, air, mind, intelligence, and ego. All these combined together are distributed throughout the entire universe, which extends which extends diametrically to four billion miles. Besides this universe of our experience, there are innumerable other universes. Some of them are bigger than the previous one, present one, and all of them are clustered together under similar material conditions as described below. So we've heard something about time. Now again, we're going to hear something about space and matter, uh, where, uh, how the, material cosmic manifestation uh, is situated. <laughs> All right, are there some questions here? Time can control, Praveen says, only those who are body conscious. So time is dependent on the material bodies of the living entities. Uh, time's not dependent, time is independent. Um, but 
because time is Krishna. But our bodies are formed in such a way that they place us within a certain influence of time. Um, according to the body you get, time will affect, affect you in different ways. Brahma lives for such a long lifetime on account of his body. He has, he's a living entity as we are, but with his body, he gets to live for what we prioritize. And uh, with our body, we get to live however long it is. The ant gets to live for his lifetime. So it's according to the body that, that we're under time. If, if we didn't have a body, we wouldn't be, uh, well, of course, the ghosts. But um, if we weren't conditioned living beings, generally embodied living beings, time wouldn't matter. Uh, and if one doesn't identify with this body, then time again doesn't matter. One is transcendental to mundane time. Any other questions, comments? Yeah, okay. Also, we're, we're embarking on a, well, it's really a brief description of the universe, how everything is situated. In the fifth canto, we'll get the elaborate version. Tashotaradhikayayatra pravishta padamanuvat Lakshate tar katas chanye koti sho yandarashayaha. The layers or elements covering the universes are each ten times thicker than the one before, and all the universes clustered together appear like atoms in a huge combination. Purport. The coverings of the universes are also constituted of the elements of earth, water, fire, air, ether, and each is ten times thicker than the one before. The first covering of the universe is earth, and it's ten times thicker than the universe itself. If the universe is four billion miles in size, and the size of the earthly covering of the universe is four billion times ten. The covering of water is ten times greater than the earthly covering. The covering of fire is ten times greater. I'm sorry, I read that totally wrong. The covering of water is ten times greater than the earthly covering. The covering of fire is ten times greater than the watery covering. Covering of air is ten times greater than that of the fire. The covering of ether is ten times greater still than that of air, and so on. The universe within the coverings of matter appears to be like an atom in comparison to the coverings, and the number of universes is unknown even to those who can estimate the coverings of the universe. So this is a further description of how the universe is set up. The universe has this vast space within it. We heard diametrically four billion, is that what we heard? Uh, some large, large number. Um, four billion, yeah. The, so the, you've got this vast universe with all this space in it, and then you've got these coverings. Once you get to the edge of the universe, 
then there's a covering uh, formed by the element earth. Uh, then, uh, and that covering extends, it's 10 times thicker than what the diameter of the, of the universe, let's see. Ten times thicker than the universe itself. I'm not quite sure how we calculate that. Um, what 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 dimension we would use for the universe itself? But uh, ten times thicker. You have Earth. Then there's the next covering, water, the element water. Again, ten times uh, the thickness of the covering uh, made of Earth. Then uh, fire another covering and again 10 times uh, so that goes all the way through the elements earth water fire air ether and so on uh, so you've got this uh, enormous covering for the universe and still this universe is just one universe clustered among so many uh, like atoms clustered together these coverings and uh, the nature of these coverings is described at length by uh, Srila Sanatana Goswami in Vriya Bhagavatamata in the uh, yes, in the Vriya Bhagavatamata Gop Kumar travels through all of these coverings and meets the presiding deity for each of the coverings um, so we can learn a little more about it there. Anything else here? Laur Aksharam Brahma Sarvakar and Akadanam Vishnur Dhamaparam Sakshat Purushasya Mahatmanaha. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, is therefore said to be the original cause of all causes. Thus, the spiritual abode of Vishnu is eternal, without a doubt. And it is also the abode of Mahavishnu, the origin of all manifestations. Purport, Lord Mahavishnu, who is resting in Yoga Nidra on the, causal, on the causal ocean and creating innumerable universes by his breathing process, only temporarily appears in the, the Mahatattva for the temporary manifestation of the material worlds. He is a plenary portion of Lord Sri Krishna. And thus, although he is not different from Lord Krishna, his formal appearance in the material world as an incarnation is temporary. The original form of the personality of Godhead is actually, is actually the sarup or real form, and he eternally resides in the Vaikuntha world Vishnu Loka. The word Mahatmanaha is used here to indicate Mahavishnu and his real manifestation is Lord Vishnu. Sorry. <laughs> the word Mahatmanaha is used here to indicate Mahavishnu and his real manifestation is Lord Krishna. It was called Parama, as confirmed in the Brahma Sangita. Ishwara Parama Krishna Sachidananda Vigraha Anadi Radir Govinda Sarvakar Nakarnam. The Supreme Lord is Krishna, the original personality of Godhead, known as Govinda. His form is eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. 
and he is the original cause of all causes. So here we find that the uh, personality of Godhead is uh, Akshara Brahma, the infallible uh, absolute truth, Sarvakarna Karna, the cause of all causes, and uh, the commentator. Com Commentators say that uh, one can go to that spiritual world and meet that personality of Godhead. Uh, Mahavishnu is the personality of Godhead. He resides in the spiritual world ultimately in the form of Krishna. Okay. Um, thus end. The Bhaktivedanta purports of the third canto, 11th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam, entitled Calculation of Time from the Adam. Any comments or questions here? Yes, Akendra Prabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. I I, I'm, I'm sure you've addressed this sort of question on numerous occasions. The, the sort of question is that, why does Krishna do things like this? Why is the universe so tiny in comparison to all the coverings? Why is it like a golf ball, you know, com comparatively speaking? Why is everything so tiny? But then you have to say, well, that's just the way he does it. It's the way he chooses to do it. When I hear this... Um, description of all the universes clustered together like atoms in a huge you know arrangement it, it makes me think of the sort of uh <coughs> thing i was up in, in upstate new york the, in a if you walk through an open field in the summertime there are these um insects which i grew up calling spit bugs and the spit bugs uh mo is to leave this foam basically around the top of some flowering plant in a field so when you walk by it you see this thing and you don't walk into it because it's gross but um you you can you can you can almost imagine the 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 lotus and lord brahma and all these universes well actually that's that's just one universe so it's it's all these universes themselves form that gigantic arrangement it's Again, this this chapter is really uh, makes you feel small. Yeah, I, seems to me that again, walking through fields and so on, you see these little. Uh, um, if, if I have it right, because you know, as a kid, what do you know? But uh, there seem to be these like um, deposits of eggs in in little, uh, right? Like a little. Uh, uh, what would you say? Uh, sort of a, what would be the right word? I'm not sure. You could get, as you said, sort of not exactly foamy, but a sort of a, 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 a sticky solution of, of eggs together, um, all crowded together. Like, a, what are they called? There's a, there are these seeds that you can, uh, soap, is it chia seeds or uh, something like that? And they form like a, a whole sticky um, batch of seeds and all, all, all together in, a, in your little bowl or something. So that there we are. There are our universes uh, with all these billions, four, four billion miles in diameter and uh, uh, 10 times thicker covering of this and 10 times more and 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. And that's like a little, uh, well, the Chaitanya Charitamrita says, a mustard seed in a bag of mustard seeds. Like one mustard seed um, in, in a bag of mustard seeds. That's our universe. So they're all clustered together. Um, and seeming very important to us, we're awed by all the space in the universe, uh, and we're 
astonished by the description of these uh, unbelievably thick uh, coverings one after another. And that's a mustard seed. That's a mustard seed. So our perspective on things is uh, different from the Lord's perspective. Mina says, going back to time, interesting that people have a system of being paid by the hour. Time is money. Yeah. Time is, uh, is money, and yet time is, is what's the word? Um, ephemeral. You can't exactly put your finger on time. Measurements or measurements, not exactly of time, but of something, you know, how, how much distance the, cover, the sun covers uh, in a certain uh, span as measured by a sundial or what have you. Um, that doesn't exactly measure time because time is, is beyond, but it, it measures some effect of time by which we get some idea. Uh, but time is, is something amazing. Uh, how it makes everything happen, how it's unaffected by anything. Time. You can ponder time for a long time. Sarshati says, it's mind boggling that as vast as the material universes are described, uh, uh, as vast as they are described like mustard seeds, and yet they only compro comprise one quarter of Krishna's creations. Three quarters is in the spiritual world. Happy to learn that most souls are liberated pure souls, but ashamed that small number of conditioned souls, and I am one of them, uh, of such culprits. Uh, yeah, there, here we are. Uh, our big important universe, and it's just like uh, prison facility uh, 472 out of some uncounted number. Uh, and meanwhile, most people are walking around free and we're looking at uh, all the particulars of uh, the prison yard and the, uh, the different tiers of uh, the different floors of the prison and uh, this and that and the other thing. Uh, but uh, most souls are free. Yeah. Anything else? Yes, Mahaprasad Govinda. Yeah, just that, this uh, understanding of uh, the material universe being one fourth of the entire uh, creation of the Lord. And we know the spiritual world is vast and unlimited, whereas, even though the material world looks gigantic for us, it's still limited. So when you compare that limited with the unlimited spiritual world, how do we understand? Are we limiting the spiritual world by saying the material world is wonderful? Yeah, when we use this, the spiritual world is unlimited, and yet we speak of this world as being one-fourth, yeah. the spiritual world being three-fourths. Uh, yeah, as far as I can understand, these are just to give us an idea, because what's one-fourth of unlimited? The uh, and what's three-fourths of unlimited. So um, this is just to give us some, some, some understanding of, of where we stand. Okay. Let us stop here and tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, uh, Monday, we can pick up with the creation of the Kumaras and others, the next chapter.
And it's time for Kirtan. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Panuvan Sutri Praja Kacharja Ashto Tarusit Shri Shumat Esi Bhakti Vedanta Shami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Prindha Ki Jai Nama Charja Shida Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Vem Sikaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adyaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakti Vrindha Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopinath, Sham Kun Radha Kundi Giri Guru Dhan Ki Jai, 
Vrindavan Tham Ki Jai, Nabadeep Tham Ki Jai, Jagannath Puri Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Jamana Mai Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees. Thank you all once again. Special thanks to Haridas Prabhu, beautiful Kirtan. Thank you to Mina, and thank you to all the devotees. And I'm going to run. Thank you, Maharaj. Srimad Bhagavatam, Ki Jai, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai, Jai Dvaita Maharaj, Ki Jai. Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. 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 Jai